Hey guys, this is Simon to Geek. Today I have Mr. DS Lemming. Hello again. Here, let me let me turn up your volume because people can't really hear you. So today I'm going to talk about why me and DS Lemming do not like the new i iPod Nano. And since DS Lemming is my guest, and you guys haven't heard from him in a long time, I would like him to explain his point first. Well. First impressions, it actually looks quite nice. The only problem is that I think the accelerometer built in was slightly unnecessary. And even though, yeah, the interface looks nice, and like, you know, the genius function, I don't think that the look really pulls it off. Well, here's think? here's my problems with it. First off, the accelerometer, I, I see some major problems with that. Like, a lot of people put their iPod in their pocket, and if they have the accelerometer turned on, they'll be switching tracks every four seconds when it bounces around in their pants. And also, so, you'd look like a bit of an arsehole in public if you're just shaking your iPod like a twat. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, another thing I have a problem with it is, why does it have a wide screen? All, I mean, I've been using the 5th gen iPod for a very long time. And I also have a iPod Nano first, I mean second generation, and I also have an iPod Touch. And with this, I, I gotta say, putting it in flat in side screen was a totally stupid idea for the Nano. All right, a lot of third gen, oh, a lot of third generation Nanos, well, all of them, you know, third generation Nano in general had a standard screen view. Now the people switching from the third generation Nano to the fourth one are going to have problems because all their videos are in standard view and they'll be stretched when they go into widescreen view. And another problem I see with it is that it has sort of the zoom thing where you have to flip it on its side in order to watch the video. And I personally would hate having to do that. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's somewhat of a chore. And, uh, you know, I, I I would like it better if they just designed the whole system to be horizontal. Like, if they designed, like, put the headphone up here, I guess, and then put the scroll wheel on the side. And then you'd hold it like this, and you just scroll through it on its side. It would work a lot better, and it would just, you know, everything would flow together better. Everything would just, in my opinion, be better on it. Just having a horizontal iPod. If you're going to make a wide screen, so you don't have to flip it every time you want to watch a video. Now I know that's not that big of a deal, but eh. I'm used to having my iPod and mine's a fifth generation. I just watch my video by pressing play. Just similar yeah. to me, you know? I don't have to flip my arm. Now I know that's not a big deal, and I know I sound lazy as hell. But you gotta remember, this is Apple. Apple always makes us lazy. <laughs> and, and in my opinion, the thing looks ugly. It looks ugly. It looks like a um, product that rhymes with spoon. I'm gonna put that, you know, not attacking anyone. Anyway. And also, they got, rid of, they got rid of the shiny background, didn't they? They just took that out and put it in with whatever color you have. I just think it looks... Ugh. I don't know. It, it looks like someone, like a concept art, done like in 2003 for the iPod now, you know? Yeah. Also, there's a third-party company in China that makes something that looks so similar to this, it's not even funny. <laughs> and then Hong Kong, a counterfeit iPod. And this has been out for like three years, and it looks exactly like the new Nano. It's ridiculous how similar they look. And, um... I just don't like the new look at it at all. I just, it looks horrible, in my opinion. I mean, what do you think about the look, Phil? Well, I think it's just Apple have gone away and they've had, well, they've tried to change it as much as possible. And they've come up with this, like, oval-like kind of shape at the top and bottom. Yeah, it's, you know. it's sort of and like the iPod it, Touch. But 
what baffles me is why I don't know. Can can you access cover flow with just it vertical? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why people are going to use cover flow horizontally. And I don't see the purpose of having a wide screen on the iPod. I, I mean, especially since all the videos on iTunes are, unless they start offering a widescreen version, they're all in standard definition. They're all, you know, square. So yeah. it's going to look horrible on the thing. I just don't see where Apple is going with this. I I don't know. It seems like all the new iPods that came out, they're not revolutionary. They're um evolutionary, you know? They're running out of ideas. No, it's just like just it's just like they're evolving. They're going forward, but they're not bringing anything new to the table. Well, yeah, they're they're adapting an existing design through it that way. Yeah, like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like an Apple product to me. It doesn't feel like one. It doesn't look like one. And that's just my problem with it, you know? Like, it just doesn't seem like an Apple sort of thing. And in many ways, I don't know. It just it just looks way too much like the Zune. I'm going to come out and say it right now. It's just too similar. Period. All right, yeah. Samuel.